What's up guys? It's Friday, so you know what time it is. It's time for What the Fitness. What the f And today, we have returning guest, Dr. Stephen Gundry and his fancy pants glasses. Let's see what Dr. Gundry has to say. Is everything you've been told about dieting a lie? Every single one of these like fake guru videos all start the same way. You've been lied to. The secret they don't want you to know. But who is they? Who? Like group of people just sitting around a table like, how can we lie to them about dieting so they stay fat? <laughs> The right protein can help you lose huge amounts of weight, but the wrong protein will destroy your health. <gasps> Cardiologist Stephen Gundry says he solved the weight loss mystery. You really have changed the way I think. So, so what's the wrong protein and how does it destroy your health? Based on what? So what, what evidence? We have to watch to the end about what I eat. Best book I've seen on diet ever. You did all this research. You were 70 pounds heavier. What uh, what, what, what research? I would like to know what publications he has. Maybe he has some, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check. I've been involved in nutrition research for better part of a decade and in all my discussions sitting down and talking about the top researchers in weight loss and health uh, with my peers, his name never oddly came up, weirdly enough. Did you change? Oh, oh, oh. Now, now we have the obligatory video of him swirling a flask with colored liquid. I, I'm a nutritional scientist, so I actually like did research, published original research about protein. I've never actually done this. Like I've never had a, a flask where I've swirled it and it's been like brightly colored liquid. That's not what we do. We do a lot of, like, I did a lot of Western blotting and stable isotope research, which way less colorful stuff. And actually like a lot of the stuff was like just a pellet in the bottom of a test tube or um, like actually when we're measuring protein synthesis, you know, actual research stuff was like, look like burnt stuff in the bottom because we have to add acid to it to hydrolyze the protein. But you know, I'm just going off about my, you know, research. So maybe there's some people out there that like find secrets by like, you know, colored liquid in a flask and swirl it around. I mean, you know, he looks very, very, very concerned. What did you stop eating? What did you start eating? So I used to be 70 pounds overweight and I was running 30 miles a week. And here comes the personal anecdote. One hour every day and eating a healthy, low-fat vegetarian diet. And no matter what I did, I couldn't lose weight. Then Dr. Gundry discovered a oh, remarkable Oh, look, another science. flask with green liquid in it. What did he Typic discover? breakthrough that changed everything. If you want to improve heart health, lose weight, and feel better, you don't need to add anything to your diet. You just need to take away one simple thing. Oh. One of these foods. So if we need to take away one simple thing, I mean, why do we need to buy your stuff? This should be like, your book should like literally be like one line, like a single line, don't eat this. Is it like Bart Simpson where you're like writing the same thing over and over and over? Yeah, so a lot of um, gurus will try to scare you by saying it's the one thing you're eating that's destroying your health because that sort of fear-based marketing actually gets you to share their content faster because it creates fear. And because there are people that you care about, you tend to share that more than more nuanced content. I mean, unfortunately, you know, people who are very heavily marketing-based, they do it because y'all share this stuff. Because you're like, oh, since he's a doctor, and since many of you believe will give him authority uh, and he has a secret, you think, wow, he has secrets I'm not privy to. He must really be an expert. Again, I mean, he graduated medical school. So, I mean, there's something to be said for that, but I'm not aware of any nutritional research he's ever published. And believe me, if he found the secret to breaking through and helping everybody lose weight, I think there's a lot of journals that would be very interesting in publishing that research. This helps you lose weight. One of these foods significantly reduces food cravings, but one of these foods increases your risk of heart disease by a staggering 20%. Do you know what you switch? Uh, it's a picture of a hot dog, tacos, and pizza. My name is Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I made this video to give you a quick protein quiz that could actually save your life. Because eating oh the my right gosh. protein can help you lose weight, get stronger bones, and even help protect your heart. It can also help reduce digestive discomfort and give you smoother, more regular bowel movements. It can boost your mood. So the only bowel movement is this video. That's where this video belongs, in a bowel movement. If we put this video in a bowel movement, 
that would be where it belongs. Support brain health and even help support healthy blood pressure and blood sugar levels. And of course, good protein fills you up, helping stop food cravings in their tracks. By making- I mean, protein is more satiating than the macronutrients on the whole. So I guess credit where credit's due. That one is technically correct. Making this one small change to your diet, you can experience profound benefits. Benefits I've seen in thousands of patients who finally got rid of health problems. So we need a 10 minute video to tell us about one thing that we need to cut out. Every day when I look in the mirror, including losing 70 pounds of weight and keeping it off. And personal anecdote. Years. Because I do this simple thing every day. And now in my What is it 60s, that you do I've every day? Felt better in my life. There's just one problem. <gasps> Millions of Americans are eating one specific protein that's now been shown to be toxic to your health. Oh, th so here we go. We have fear-based, then we establish credibility with, I don't know, swirling flask. Then we do personal anecdote, and now we go back to fear-based. They have these things in a blueprint. Like, you can just look up any of these guys. Their videos are all very similar. Many people are eating this every single day and have no idea it could lead to heart disease, stroke, and even cancer. <gasps> this has become a major health issue in America. <gasps> so in the next couple minutes, I'm going to reveal to you the truth about protein. Oh, in the next couple minutes. Oh, I was enjoying this video so much, I can't wait. That, in my opinion, you must stop eating immediately because eating this just once a day could increase your risk for heart disease by 20%. And I'll bet it's in your refrigerator right now. Oh, I'll also tell you the say... stunning secret to a slimmer, stronger guess? body that I learned from studying horses. Yes, horses. I'll also reveal the simple protein hack you can do just a few times a week to boost your energy, manage your weight, improve digestion. All right, Steve, come on, let's, let's move us along now, come on. And no, getting slimmer and healthier does not involve giving up meat. In fact, you're about to learn that some meat is actually healthier than certain vegetables and that the mm. key to a long, healthy life really just comes down to one easy, simple to do protein hack. Again, my name is Dr. Steve. So the, the key to your entire life is one protein hack. And here I did six years of a PhD in protein metabolism, and I didn't know about this protein hack. Should probably go back and get my money back from one of the leading research institutions in the world for nutritional science. I probably should go get my money back because Dr. Gundry found the protein hack secret. And I'm a cardiothoracic surgeon and triple New York Times bestselling author and a nutritionist with medical practices in Palm Springs and Santa Barbara, California. I graduated with honors from Yale University and received my medical doctorate from the Medical College of Georgia. I spent 16 years as a professor of surgery and pediatrics and chairman of cardiothoracic surgery at the world Great. famous Lone Not nutrition. School of Medicine. Along with my former partner, Leonard Bailey, I performed more infant and pediatric heart transplants than any other doctor in the world. I was one of the and original so again, 20 surgeons fear, who tested the world's first heart reestablished credibility, and first to use personal anecdote. I've seen thousands of patients with a spectrum of health issues, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, all of which can apparently be solved by this protein obesity. hack that we're going to wait another 10 minutes to find out. On news channels across America or my online videos on health and wellness, which have over 50 million views. And according to my colleagues, this protein wake up call documentary you're watching right now is my most important video to date. I'm also mm. the personal physician for legendary self-help guru, Tony Robbins, who was kind enough to recently say, Dr. Gundry is one of America's greatest and most knowledgeable physicians. And for years, I've had the good fortune to benefit Tony from Robbins, care. the guy who Why promotes the alkaline Robbins, diet, Fortune 500 obviously well versed on nutrition. Thousands of other Americans come to me for help. The answer is simple, because I'm willing to tackle medical issues that nobody else can fix. People come to me when they've been everywhere. Harvard, the Mayo Clinic. We have to wrap this UCLA, up, Steve. And they still can't find answers because I'm not afraid to try solutions that go against the grain. In fact, in my experience, Ooh. many health professionals are oh, often look. behind on the Flask. latest research. And in some cases, actually doing more I'm wondering what good. they're looking on a microscope that would have anything to do with this. it comes this. to one of the most important parts of your diet, protein. So let's start with the good part. What can protein do for you? It helps you manage your weight. While eating carbs makes you hungrier, protein is special because not it true. makes you feel full. Not it always true. stops unhealthy food cravings. And not always and true on protein. It depends on the specific protein source. Some proteins are more satiating than others. And some specific sources of carbohydrate are more satiating than some specific sources of protein. But on the whole, protein in general is more satiating than carbohydrate. That is true. It's thermogenesis, the process of calorie burning in your body. This means protein tells your body to burn extra calories, even while you sleep. Protein is also vital to stronger bones. 
Multiple human clinical studies have shown that protein works with calcium to give you denser, stronger bones, which is not really exactly correct, but for um, over 40. protein for a long for time was health, thought too. to actually you don't have to be an athlete uh, to want a contribute stronger, to uh, as we age, the we all need extra bone loss. Support. And we now know that's not true. Muscle. It actually reduces aches and even helps boost recovery time. Sounds great, right? But before you go out and eat a thick, protein rich steak, there's something you should know health warning. The wrong protein can actually cause serious is it gonna tell problems. Us? Is it going to tell us? The culprit for bad protein oh, is something flask. I've been warning people about for years. Red meat. And the good news is, getting healthier does not involve giving up any type of meat, even red meat. There's a simple secret that lets you eat all your favorite proteins and still be healthier, leaner, and live longer. And when you hear it, you're going to be shocked at how simple it is. But to understand it, when you, you first need it to in understand five hours why red meat is correlated with so many health issues. You see, Harvard University, one of the top research facilities in the world. You know, Harvard, Yale, yes, they're good universities, but behind every dumb statement in the last hundred years, there's somebody from Harvard or Yale talking about it. So just say, well, I'm from Harvard or Yale. Who cares? Show me your evidence. Recently announced that overconsumption of red meat can lead to heart disease, diabetes, and even cancer. In one massive study of 120,000 men and women, the risk of dying from heart disease went up by 13% for every three ounces of red meat people ate daily. And this will shock you. <gasps> Eating just one hot dog daily increases your risk of death from heart disease by 20%. <gasps> and even if you don't eat hot dogs, any processed meat is terrible for your body. That includes cold cuts like processed ham, pastrami, and roast beef. And the more you eat, the worse it is for your health. For yeah, there's pretty strong correlation data that shows that processed meat is associated with colon cancer and some various other diseases. It could be that those people eat more like overall unhealthy foods in general, but there's quite a bit of evidence on this. And I'm, I'm willing to say that I think that there is probably something to the idea that processed meat may inherently contain something that is carcinogenic. It's been thought maybe the nitrates and those sorts of things, but we're not sure at this point. But I would say that it's probably important to limit your consumption of processed meat. If you eat two Where's this protein hack, Steve? As well, your risk goes up by an additional 20%. In one study at Harvard, people who increased their red meat consumption by just 3.5 servings a week were 50% more likely to develop diabetes over the next four years. Now, you may be wondering, how can meat be so bad? When I was a kid growing up in Omaha, Nebraska, many cattle farms were oh still good family-owned businesses that cared about the health of their customers oh. and their animals. But today, virtually every piece of meat you find in a grocery store comes from a massive corporate-owned cattle farm who really oh only God. care about squeezing every penny they can out of you, me, and their cattle. They want cows that grow Yeah, Steve, fast on the other hand, works big, for free, I'm so sure. So they can get the most beef they can in the quickest amount of time. And they do this with one magical ingredient known as insulin-like growth factor, or uh, here IGF-1. We go. IGF is found in all kinds of animal protein. But here's the shocking truth the food industry does not want <gasps> you to know. If you're between the ages of 45 and 65, the more IGF there is in your body over time, the more likely you are to die. IGF is actually vital to your- And then there we go. All right, so don't eat proteins that increase your IGF-1. Um, a lot of different proteins have been shown to increase IGF-1, including some of the ones that he's talking about here. You don't need to worry about IGF-1 in your meat because IGF-1 is a protein and proteins go through this process called digestion. And during digestion, your stomach secretes uh, stomach acid as well as pepsin and pepsinogen. And then your small intestines secrete things like trypsin, chymotrypsin, and those chop up these proteins into their constitutive amino acids. And therefore the protein loses its bioactive activity. So you don't need to worry about IGF-1 that's in these products. Maybe he was gonna say something else, but quite frankly, I just can't be bothered to listen anymore to that nonsense. And if you're worried about protein increasing IGF-1, the, there is a link between IGF-1 and cancer and mortality. However, it is not as clear cut as that. For example, lifting weights, also increases IGF-1. People who resistance train have lower rates of mortality. This is, again, trying to establish point A to point Z when there's a lot of stuff between point A and point Z. So I hope you all don't buy into any of this. There is not one protein hack that's gonna fix all your health problems. This is the same stuff that you'll get with like financial gurus. We're like, well, this one trick to fix all your financial problems. It's like, don't you think if that was the case that people would know? I'm sorry, I'm kind of getting like cynical these days and I feel like if you believe this stuff, you probably deserve to get scammed. I'm sorry, there I said it, I said it. Just have just a little bit of skepticism. Just a little bit, please. Okay, that's it, I'm out.
I, I, I just can't do anymore. Brian, we're gonna have to get a flask next time with some colorful liquid and I'll just swirl it around and look at it, you know, aimlessly and apparently that'll make me a, the lab coat wasn't enough to establish myself as an expert. We gotta get a flask with some liquid in here and maybe like a dropper to make it look like I'm doing something. Catch you guys next week.